Puspendra, you appeared for civil service also? No, sir, not this year, sir. Huh? Not this year, sir. Not this year, yes, sir. Okay, okay. And your field uh, Shimla is your uh, examination center? Sir, it was Delhi, sir. Huh? Last year it was Shimla. Puspendra Singh, huh? Yes, sir. Uh, what is choice of examination? Sir, yes. This is uh, this is the old one. That you are given old, not the new one? I have given the new one, sir, I think. I we are having the old one. Is, it, is, is everything the same? Yes, sir. Or you have made any changes? Uh, everything is same, sir. You are in UNG, ONGC? I have resigned, sir. You have resigned? Yes, sir. Achha, okay. Why you have resigned? Um, sir, my work, sir, uh, I wasn't feeling for, it wasn't fulfilling, sir. Uh, my work there is, uh, can be characterized as user support. Uh, what I do is I copy files, I make uh, keep the printers working hmm. and such other things sir i felt i can uh, there was no scope for learning or improving my skills i felt i could be doing more and contributing more sir okay okay and uh, this is your sixth uh, chance this one would be seven sir seven yes sir. Uh, you have more chances yes sir okay <clears throat> uh, tell me uh, biodiversity heritage sites you heard of this yes sir what are these sites Sir, under the uh, Biological Diversity Act 2006, uh, certain sites can be characterized at as Biological Diversity Act 2000? 2006, sir. It's 2002. Right, sir. Uh, hmm. I'm sorry, sir. Hmm. 2002, sir. So, under it, uh, there is a provision of for characterizing biodiversity heritage sites. These are sites which are rich in biodiversity. There are endemic species. Uh, there is multi city of species. Where and those can be? Uh, those sites, uh, which areas those can be designated as biodiversity sites? Sir, uh, any uh, ecosystem which is uh, rich in species, uh, which has endemism, uh, which is rare species or which needs no, Inside the forest, outside the forest, private land, revenue land, where? Sir, uh, certainly not inside the protected areas. Uh, this is an uh, another mechanism for conservation, sir. So, uh, but I'm not sure if it is. Is it written somewhere that certainly not within the protected areas? Sir, uh, uh, I think in the Wildlife Protection Act, uh, sir, uh, it isn't there. So, if an area is uh, designated as a protected area, it doesn't need any more uh, okay. conservation. It sir, doesn't so need any more. That is right. But nowhere yes. it is written that it cannot be. I am inferring that, sir. Yes. Area. Okay. <clears throat> uh, you have appeared civil services before? Yes, sir. How many times? Sir, uh, this would be my seventh attempt. I have always uh, appeared both in civil and forest services. Achha. Okay. You see, in the civil services, you would have seen we have so many account services PNT account service, audit and account service, civil account service, railway account service. Why do we need all these uh, account services? Can't, uh, can't those be merged and uh, made one uh, uh, Indian? Uh, account service or something? Sir, uh, the uh, government is divided into many departments and uh, the work of this these departments are uh, very much different from uh, one another. So, in certain uh, departments, for example, uh, the uh, postal department or defense estates department, the requirements may be very different. The accounting system, overall Indian uh, account system, whatever we call it, it's same for the government. So, do you think uh, officer of uh, uh, so railways account service or he cannot work in defense account or civil account or anywhere else? Sir, uh, a particular knowledge of uh, the working of the field would be more helpful in accounting, sir. So, uh, of course, the mathematics would be uh, or the accounting part would be uh, the same. But if I am aware of the working of the railways. But now, railways have merged all the services into one? Yes. Sir. And then, account also is merged, uh, this traffic also merged. Oh, everything is much the way that thing goes so it means they will be at a disadvantage sir i think they are striking uh, the right balance uh, inside the railways uh, there is one service okay okay just tell me uh, uh, government employees there is a, a stipulation something regarding marriage hmm? that government employees can marry once or twice or something hindus can marry only marry only once 
Yes. Hey? One surviving wife they can have at a time. Yes. Okay. Muslims they can have more than one. Yes. What about government employees? Government Muslim employees. Sir, I'm sorry, I'm not particularly aware of the provisions, uh, but the government does ask how many children uh, one has. But I'm talking about spouse, not the children. Right, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not aware of the provisions, okay. sir. Okay, uh, we have external edit projects. Externally edit projects. You heard about that? Yes, sir. What are those? Sir, there are uh, development institutions or development banks uh, internationally which uh, give aid to us uh, in order to uh, help us develop. For example, the uh, World Bank is there, the Asian Development What is our is objective there. of having a uh, external aid project? Only finances or something else? Sir, primarily uh, it is the finances. Uh, also, uh, they add to the capacity of the government. They, they have certain skills, they have certain knowledge which uh, they can transfer from the international domain to the country. And when the project is over, then? What that particular department is supposed to do? Sir, uh, 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 certainly uh, there should be some sustainability in these projects. There should be some uh, transfer of skills uh, to the uh, people who are involved in this. So we can carry forward and uh, we, we, uh, we are less and uh, less dependent on the, these uh, institutions. Sir. Okay. Hello, Pushkin. Sir. Do you listen to podcasts? Yes. Sir. So where do you listen? Which website or at what, uh, sir. what platform? An Android app, sir, a Podbean. Sorry, Podbean. Podbean. Okay. So, uh, which podcast do you listen to? Sir, uh, my favorite one would be, uh, it's called the Infinite Monkey Cage. Uh, it's by a renowned scientist of uh, CERN, uh, Brian Cox. Uh, there are others as well, such as uh, Star Talk. Uh, these are all about uh, uh, sciences, uh, specifically uh, space sciences, cosmology, cosmogeny, physics, uh, etc. There's also one podcast by Richard Dawkins, uh, an evolutionary, a very renowned uh, evolutionary uh, biologist. Uh, I also listen to comedy, sir. Last year, there was some controversy regarding Joe Rogan's podcast. And many people called it unscientific or spreading fake news or rumors also. What was the controversy about? Sir, I have heard of uh, some of uh, Mr. Joe Rogan's podcast, but I'm not particularly aware of uh, which controversy uh, you're talking about, sir. Okay, all right. Uh, why you want to join the forest services? Sir, uh, I feel that uh, there can't be a better office than uh, forests, uh, especially the opportunity to work in far-flung areas, in, uh, among wilderness, in, uh, in forests, uh, to conserve wildlife and to work with people, sir. So, uh, that is my uh, inspiration to work in, in forests. Uh, I also feel that uh, the prospects it's provide uh, should help me fully utilize myself and to uh, contribute to the best of my ability, sir. Okay. So you'll have almost, uh, let's say you get selected this year, you'll have almost 30 years of service ahead of you. So what will be the challenges that you'll be encountering in the next 30 years as a forest service officer? So the most important challenge that the uh, forest sector is facing right now is the uh, uh, deterioration of the forest that we already have. Uh, uh, basically the encroachment or the uh, fragmentation of the forests, the climate change is of course a very important issue. Other than this, sir, uh, illegal mining is one issue uh, which, which the foresters very much face. Uh, uh, illicit felling is there, uh, conservation of wildlife, uh, conservation of uh, biodiversity, equitable uh, uh, utilization of biodiversity. Uh, mm, upliftment of the uh, populations living in the fringes of the forest, sir. Also, I feel that the uh, forest department uh, could use uh, some uh, information and communication technology to modernize the departmental work, especially to uh, uh, increase the transparency, accountability and uh, and, and basically the efficiency of, the, of its work. What will be the role of forest service officer uh, with regard to particularly the climate change that is happening? I think, sir, the forest officers have a very pertinent role, a very upfront role in this. Uh, uh, the uh, foremost way for of fly, uh, fighting climate change would be to uh, have more forests, to have more vegetation, to have more uh, land cover, to increase the biomass both above and below the ground, to have more wetlands, to conserve the wetlands that we already have, uh, to decrease uh, pollution, sir. So, uh, I feel they have a very important role, sir. Okay. What qualities do you have which will make you a very good forest service officer? Sir, uh, I, I have love for outdoors. I think I have uh, curiosity. I like to explore. I can take initiatives even when uh, it, uh, I'm not being asked for, for them. I do have integrity and uh, 
I believe I'm compassionate. Okay. So you have worked in Dehradun? Yes. Sir. So what places did you explore near Dehradun? Sir, uh, nearby uh, there is uh, uh, Rajaji forests, the Motichur uh, ranges there. Uh, the FRI also is uh, is right beside my office, sir. I've been to the museums as well. Uh, the Asan Baraj is there, which is a, a wetland of uh, international importance. I've also been to forests uh, uh, near Yamuna and Ganga. Uh, Dehradun is uh, in between these two rivers. Uh, I've also been to uh, Sadhanalti. There's a, uh, a pristine uh, Devadar forest there, sir. Uh, I've also been to uh, George uh, Everest's estate, sir. Uh, these are the places that are nearby, sir. I've also been to uh, Valley Flower National Park, Gangotri National Park, uh, Dudatoli Reserve Forests, Chakrata, and uh, and a few other places as okay, well. Okay, all right. So you have uh, done your bit in exploring. Yes, all right. So you are a computer science engineer. Yes. Tell me, what is a full stack developer? Sir, in uh, in context of web development, a full stack developer is somebody who develops the uh, the front end as well as the back end, uh, and also the database behind the back end, sir. Uh, usually what we see is uh, in case of big websites, we divide the work among uh, software engineers. Uh, uh, a, a small group develops the front end, uh, which is basically the look and feel of the website that gets uh, uploaded, uh, that, get, that one can see on the web browser, sir. But in the back end, uh, at the server side, there is there are scripts that are running, there is databases, uh, there is uh, normalization of data and many such other tasks. So a full stack web developer is somebody who knows uh, both these aspects. Why uh, there is an increased demand of full stack developer? Sir, I'm not particular, uh, particularly aware of this trend. Uh, but I think probably it's, uh, it may be because people, uh, uh, the companies are trying to cut down on employees. Okay, all right. Because these are two very uh, different aspects, sir. So I would recommend uh, to have uh, individual developers for front end and back end. Okay. Uh, you know about something about Web3? Yes, Web3. sir. Web 3.0? A little bit, sir. Okay. Any utility f uh, for environmental protection? Sir, I uh, one utility could be uh, the the uh, a quintessence of Web 3.0 is that it is a distributed uh, uh, web system. So the dissemination of information or the uh, uh, the fake news cannot be there anymore. Uh, uh, the the departmental news or the department of opportunities could reach the people very well. The people themselves can uh, uh, contribute to such uh, uh, platforms. Uh, the people's participation can benefit from, from Web 3.0, sir. Okay, last question. Uh, what are the equipments required for camping since you have camping as your hobby? Sir, uh, first of all, uh, good gear. Uh, by good gear, I mean uh, good clothing, uh, multi-layered clothing, uh, waterproof clothing, uh, uh, good shoes with uh, good grip. Uh, other than that, sir, uh, uh, a tent, a uh, simple dome tent would be uh, sufficient, uh, a sleeping bag. Uh, backpack and certain essentials in it, such as a first aid kit, uh, certain medicines in, in it, uh, some uh, alternate clothing in case one gets uh, wet, uh, a torch would be essential and uh, perhaps a matchstick, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Mr. Pushpain. Sir. Uh, police commissionerate system, police commissionerate system. So, in how many districts it is there in your state? Sir, I am aware of uh, two, sir. Uh, one is Prayagraj and the other one is uh, uh, Noida, sir. There what may about be Lucknow? I think so, sir. I think Lucknow also has it, sir. What about Kanpur? I'm not What about Banaras? I'm not Varanasi? sure, sir. I'm not sure, sir. At four places. Anyway, right. thank you, sir. So, what do you mean by police commissionerate system? Sir, uh, uh, usually, uh, what we have is uh, our district uh, magistrate uh, who also works as uh, as a collector and also the head of the law and order uh, in the district. But in certain metropolitan areas, uh, we have this uh, commissionerate system uh, in which the police is totally under the police commissioner who is a higher rank officer uh, and usually not answerable or usually not uh, deemed to be under the magistrate for law and order purposes. Okay, so can we say? Uh, police is vested with magisterial powers in police commissionate system. I'm not sure, sir. I apologize. Okay. Uh, related with computer science, which you have studied, huh? e tech. Uh, can you name the computer scientists sir, or computer engineers 
whom you are very proud of may that be working in india or abroad so the uh, the, f- the foremost uh, computer scientist would be mr tim berners lee who is said to be the uh, the uh, inventor of the internet okay um, other than him sir uh, i'm particularly uh, mr uh, elon musk uh, mm-hmm. who made uh, yeah, initially it was a platform called x then uh, paypal and and Now just name them huh? like who sir. others uh, sir uh, uh, in microsoft sir uh, there was a uh, uh, mr other than bill gates there was a uh, mr uh, mr balmer I'm, i'm 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 totally forgetting the name sir indians sir mr uh, narayan murthy would be there mhm the founder of uh, Uh, Vipro, founder of Infosys. Uh, these were all uh, software engineers in their times. I uh, okay. O F C. It stands for O F C. Sir, in computer science parlance, it uh, stands yeah. for optical fiber uh, cable, sir. Optical fiber cable. Okay. On which principle it works? Sir, a total internal reflection. What do you mean by total internal reflection? Sir, ah. Uh, light when going from a denser to a rarer medium uh, if the angle of incidence is uh, more than a certain angle sir it gets totally internally reflected which means it doesn't go out of the denser medium sir okay wifi lifi myfi one or two sentences related with each what do you mean by wifi lifi and myfi sir uh, wi- wifi stands for wireless uh, fidelity uh, it uses uh, re- uh, uh, electromagnetic waves in the uh, radio, uh, in radio spectrum mm-hmm. to transmit uh, data uh, wirelessly lifi stands for uh, light fidelity it again you uh, utilizes electromagnetic spectrum but in the visible uh, range uh, how this helps is that it can carry more data to a smaller distance to or uh, to a lesser distance i'm not aware of the myfi technology sir okay you have been management training huh? in hl sir yes okay so uh, there is a verse in sanskrit which i will translate into english you will tell me what exactly that mean sir there is no person in the world who is not having any potential but rare is the visionary who can transform this into reality i repeat there is no person in the world who is not having any potential but rare is the visionary who can transform this into reality please tell me so it is an uh, an optimistic as well as a re- uh, as well as a realistic view of the world uh, it believes that everybody has potential but to uh, utilize that potential or to fully use that potential uh, in the practical sense uh, one has to be uh, uh, some other uh, quality is required one has to be uh, a visionary or one has to have a real uh, good so what is lacking sir the attitude uh, i would say uh, other what than that what is lacking a good visionary a good leader a good manager who can utilize their potential at per their capacities and capabilities okay one sir. question related to geology what do you know about birbal sahani sir he uh, mr birbal sahani is a uh, was a paleo botanist Uh, yeah it, uh, there's a paleo botany institute in uh, lucknow in his name sir in his name okay have you seen that from the outside sir yes have you ever heard uh, ra- uh, about raj mahal hills yes sir where are these located S- uh, sir jharkhand sir jharkhand which place in jharkhand uh, sir uh, the chhota nagpur plateau uh, towards the southeast uh, end of uh, jharkhand sir have you gone to that place not yet sir so any fossils plant fossils discovered from that place yes sir uh, quite a lot of sir uh, can this, you name some yes sir uh, so in the gondwana period this is uh, uh, of the fame of uh, the gondwana period mm-hmm. uh, uh, from the uh, permo carboniferous uh, car- permo carboniferous period to the uh, lower cretaceous mm-hmm. uh, predominantly uh, here we find the glossopteris uh, flora the hmm? gangamopteris flora which which flora glossopteris flora sir okay gangamopteris flora sir uh, the other one would be uh, uh, it's it's called dicroidium mm-hmm. uh, under it uh, there is a tilophyllum and there is there are uh, we can also find uh, 
pteridophytes, which are basically ferns and horse tails. Okay, thank yeah. you. Thank you, sir. All right, uh, Mr. Pushpendra. Sir. It's quite sad that you've been working for almost 10 years. In uh, a few days short of eight years. Uh, almost, yeah. So, you know, NGC. And uh, you describe the job as you don't like it. And uh, yes. so it means that you wasted your eight years. I planned on, uh, sir, I actually resigned uh, after four years. Uh, the, my office convinced me to uh, continue uh, the preparation while working. But I I uh, couldn't do both these things simultaneously, sir. There was nothing redeeming in the job. Uh, I did try to find uh, something redeeming there, sir, but uh, I couldn't, sir. And you paid one lakh? Uh, in fact, more than that, that sir. All right. So, uh, this uh, you, you are interested in space science also, is it not? Yes, sir. This, uh, uh, some few years back, there was some interstellar object which uh, came to solar system. Was it really an interstellar? What is it? It, uh, sir, uh, the first one is known as, uh, uh, technically it's known as I-1. Uh, it was also known as Oumuamua. Uh, we've also had another one, uh, uh, it's known as I-2 or uh, Gera Shimo, uh, uh, Gera Shimenko. Uh, it, it's quite a complex name. I, I'm not able to recollect it right now. These are uh, interstellar when objects. When did the second one come? Uh, a, few, a few years ago, sir. The first Can one was uh, three, four years ago. The second one was, uh, I think it was last year. Okay. Churyo Mov Gerashimenko, mm. uh, the second one is called. Uh, these are interstellar objects and this can be inf uh, inferred from their trajectory, sir. It's a hyperbolic uh, trajectory. Anything which is uh, moving around the sun has to have an elliptical uh, trajectory. So, if, a, uh, if an object has a hyperbolic trajectory, it can uh, be conclusively said that it is an interstellar object, sir. Mm -hmm. It has a non-gravitational movement, is that? Certainly not, sir. Everything, uh, uh, at least solar, based on sun. It was influenced by the sun, but not enough uh, to be captured uh, by the sun's gravity, sir. So, the latest one, did they do a study on that? With the earlier one, the Umamu asked, uh, it was too late. Yes, sir. What about the recent one? I've heard there are plans to uh, chase it down, but uh, these are very uh, nascent plans and not uh, by very well-known agencies or by companies. So, uh, there is not much hope about uh, actually reaching uh, this object but the Where uh, is it located? i am not sure about this but uh, it was uh, hurtling at a very high velocity towards the uh, uh, when we uh, observed it it was uh, well uh, past the orbit of jupiter so it, it might be out of the solar system sir i am not aware of it mm -hmm. and what is the importance of james webb telescope sir uh, james webb space telescope is the successor of uh, hubble telescope uh, it is, uh, uh, it has... Uh, Can it really be called successor? Entirely different context. But yeah, continue. Sir, in some ways, yes. It, it uh, uh, enhances the technology that the uh, mm. Hubble okay. telescope had. It, it has a bigger mirror. It has a higher resolution. Uh, it is uh, working in uh, a bit more uh, towards the uh, infrared uh, uh, spectrum because it, it, it is trying to look uh, deeper or the more back into the time, sir. Mm. So what is the latest? Sir, latest uh, regarding James Webb. Sir, the last I heard was they were trying to uh, calibrate it, uh, uh, calibrate the uh, the mirrors, or synchronize the uh, the sixteen uh, mirrors. That's all done, is it not? Everything is done. Definitely, sir. Definitely, mm -hmm. sir. Uh, uh, Has it taken pictures? Has it sent pictures? I'm not aware, sir. Uh, the last yeah, one was a picture of a star. Uh, yeah. They were calibrating it uh, upon, sir. What was the significance of that picture? Yes, sir, I have heard of, heard of it. Okay, you're doing fine. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay,